In this video I'm going to show you how to set a Windows password and the vulnerabilities associated with Windows passwords. And before I proceed with this video I have to tell you that this video is for educational purposes only. Uh, using what I'm about to show you to hack into someone else's computer is extremely illegal and I do not recommend doing that. I am hacking into my own computer to show you how to better protect your computer. And with that being said, let's proceed. Okay, so you always hear that you should set a Windows password for your account. So in order to do that in XP, you open the control panel, go to user accounts. My account is named user and you can see that it doesn't have a password assigned to it so I'm going to create a password and in order to show you exactly what I'm setting my password to I'm going to use the on-screen keyboard uh, but before I do that let's talk about what a good password is and what a bad password is a good password has a combination of lowercase letters, capital letters, symbols, and numbers, and is at least 12 to 14 characters long. The longer the better. A bad password is just the opposite. A short string of characters that only uses letters and or numbers and contains dictionary words. So a bad password would be YouTube 09. A good password would be this. And if I tacked on some more of that, it would be even better. So with that being said, let's set a bad password on my account. So I type in my new password using the on-screen keyboard. now you see that my account is password protected. So this will prevent the casual you know, snooper from sitting down at my computer when I'm away and logging on to my account. Uh, but that's about all it's good for and I'll show you why. So I'm going to shut down Windows here. I'm running this uh, computer in a virtual box so I can show you exactly how everything works. So I have my virtual machine here. I'm going to go into settings and mount a CD image called Ulfcrack. It's a free and open source tool. And I'll provide the website in the info. So I'll boot up this machine again and it's going to boot to that CD. Okay, so this is the Ulfcrack environment. I'll just run the automatic mode. It'll give me a nice graphical interface. Uh, this is possible to do on the command line if you're so inclined. Uh, I should note that I'm doing this on a Pentium 4 computer from probably five years ago inside a virtual machine. So this computer is extremely weak compared to today's computers and it's still capable of cracking these passwords. A modern computer could do this in a matter of seconds. So this is just Ofcrack loading up. Uh, 
and it can do this without modifying the hard drive on the host machine at all. So it could be completely undetectable to the user that their ha password has been compromised. Okay, so this is the OFCRAC environment. What we're looking at is what we're looking for is the user named user and the NT password here. And it should take about a minute from now until OFCRAC has the password. So I'm just waiting for OF to load its tables into RAM. I want to emphasize again, do not do this on a computer that you do not own. And there you go. It's got the password, YouTube09. Uh, and it took it about a minute from the time the uh, operating system booted up. So you can see that if you walk away from your computer, uh, someone can grab your password uh, in under two minutes. So uh, it's really not very secure. Uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to better protect yourself and pre prevent this from happening. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment.